Now after we have talked about these two options here in the dot in the uh, particle fluid tab, we're going to create something interesting for us as a beginners, as beginners in the uh, fluid simulations. First thing, we will just create this flip tank. Control click on the flip tank in order to create it in the origin. Uh, then we have now our nodes here, our set of nodes. Oh my god, this is too stupid. We have our flip tank initial, where we have our ocean source node, which sources or which creates this pool of particles. We have our O2 network where we just simulate the, these particles that we import from the fluid tank initial then we have our flip tank which imports our flip tank fluid here which imports our fluid simulation from the DOP network into our SOP network so this is our import flip tank node and we will just create those things from scratch and you will get comfortable with those options here and those nodes later so now here in the autodop network we have this flip object we have a flip solver and uh, let's talk about those things in detail we'll just uh, go to our geometry spreadsheet here and as you can see there is a flip tank object here this flip tank object is just uh, is just the uh, the place you store the data of your simulation so here you store your collision data, your velocity data, viscosity, and all of those data are just fields, which is a kind of storage or a kind of data type. Houdini uh, uses fields to just store the data it will use to simulate things. So um, this velocity field, for example, uh, will be used by this flip solver and uh, this flip solver will solve for the velocity and the surface the viscosity of the uh, of the water and this will create our simulation uh, flip, the flip solver here solves a very complex uh, sets of a very complex sets of equations uh, which uh, which simulates water okay and we have our gravity node and surely you will create those from scratch in the next video and this will be uh, this will be just uh, uh, more more apparent and more uh, clear. Okay. So uh, if we just uh, create a sphere, control click to create our sphere, then move our sphere up here like that. In the collision tab here I can press or sorry not the collision tab and the rigid body tab here I will press RBD object select my sphere and press enter if we just go now to the autodop network press L to uh, reorder the nodes we have here our sphere object and this is an RBD packed object if we just press play our sphere will interact with the water and uh, what this did is just created our sphere object we have just created the sphere from the shelf tool and when we selected this sphere and converted it into an rbd object it just converted our sphere and imported it uh, here into this rbd object uh, and the rbd object falls with the uh, with the gravity effect and collides with our flip solver here we are merging this rbd packed object with this merge node which is a, a collide relationship and uh, we will talk about this uh, in detail in the next video when we just create this simulation from scratch so uh, this makes our sphere coll to collide uh, make our sphere collide with this flip object which contains our fluid data and this causes our sphere to collide with our simulation like that okay as you can see here our frames are stored in the uh, memory so uh, this is convenient here with the dot network flow because the dot network flow simulates the data and the changes that happen at the simulation each frame 
so you need to solve those frames successively and if you just press at uh, frame 113 Houdini will just simulate the uh, uh, the first frames first okay then uh, it will just compute the frame 113 okay so uh, to just scroll here through the, the this bar here uh, Houdini needs to uh, to store those frames in the memory and we can control this here in the Autodob network in the cache simulation we can cache our simulation or uh, there is uh, another option to uh, control this here I think in this flip tank in the creation node here we have allow caching so uh, I've created just an interesting sphere interacting with the uh, water in the next video we are just going to create this simulation from scratch in order for you to understand these nodes thank you for watching this video wait for me in the next video thank you